Hey, it's Wabbit. Good to be back with you. I do hope this finds you well. So I um, want to introduce you to a new mode that I've come up with, and it's not something that I came up with. <laughs> if you decide to stick around, maybe it'll make a little sense because I believe this is all in every single one of us, and that's where it originated from. And I just feel like it's my job to be a reminder and, and not my only job. I think many do this in many ways, so I'm not the first to do that. So I'm not trying to sound like I'm on some soapbox here, even though this may appear to be the case. So actually, this just kind of came about to me, uh, this I think, early this morning. And, and I'm a little bit bizarre, a little strange. We all are in the head, so I guess that's par for the course. But these things that I think of... and. I was looking at the different modes in music. Dorian, Lydian, Aeolian, all these things. And my thought was, okay, where do these come from? What What's the origin? How were these things named? And I did a little research and come to find out this was like a long, long, long time ago based on the regions in Greece. And I was like, wow, very interesting. Didn't Didn't realize that. I, again, I, I thought maybe it had to do with, you know, a certain way things are, are laid out, notes. And, and again, that's kind of getting into territory I don't want to, so I'm going to just go ahead and stop right there. Because I know when I start doing this, there's going to be the person who knows more than me. It's like, whoa, wait a minute, you're wrong. And that's, that's a typical human reaction. We, we, hear, we see somebody saying something. Trust me, I've been there before. I, I worked in the medical profession, and when I see somebody, you're like, ah. So I'm not going to go any further down that path. But again... It's the history, the origin of how these things came about. And I thought, wow, that long ago. It's 2023, and this stuff is still hanging around. And the other thought that came to mind is rules and, and, and labels. And I also listen to people on YouTube who are trained in things, and they get burned out, they get frustrated. And, and I'm listening to this, and I'm seeing this happen a lot. And part of me is like, okay, wh why is this a thing? I would think... If you get trained in something, you shouldn't get burned out. Then I then I stop. Wait a minute. Hold on a second. In my profession as a registered nurse, I got burnt out. And then I switched careers. Now, I'm not trying to say that my path is, you know, symbolic or, or, or analogous to, to this whole thing. But, okay, I can understand that. You do something for a period of time, there's burnout. And I thought, okay, there's got to be a way where we don't get burned out for something. And I'm, I'm thinking, what... What can we do? And, and one of the things that I like doing is coming up with words and acronyms. Part of it, my full-time job, that's something that sadly I, I live in, in a world of acronyms. And I thought, okay, let's come up with a, a, a new phrase. Now, I, I wanted to tap into a couple of things. I enjoy history. It's, a, it's one of my, it was my favorite subject in school. But I also don't like to live in it. I, I think that can be a dangerous thing to just live in history. And I wanted to have some sarcasm involved. That, that's part of me. I also wanted to tap into the mess around. That is a massive part of me in the creative space. I, I've said this before. I'm not a musician. I don't know music theory. I can't draw to save my life. There are just things that I can't do. Yet I want to participate. I want to dip my toes in the water. And I want it to be um, heard by others that it's okay to do these things. We don't all have to be, you can insert name of someone who is really great in your area that you're interested in. We don't always have to be that. Yet, time and time again, we, we tend to emulate others. And in the creative space, what is the message? Be yourself, be original, all these things. So there's always this conflict that I hear. And then I've heard some things in my travels from people who have been dropping these um, ideas Hey, be a kid. Have fun. And, and I keep hearing this from time to time. So this morning, all these things kind of came together in a bizarre, crazy way. And I thought, okay, I, I, I want to come up. I, I like the, the concept of, okay, this Dorian came from this region. So how can I do the same thing in my word that I'm going to make up? And the first thought that came to mind, okay, well, maybe I can look at where I originally lived in Ohio. And I lived there for, gosh, I don't know, 
20, 21 years maybe. And then I thought, yeah, okay, I, I, I left Ohio. I wanted to get out of there. There wasn't really, I, I never wanted to go back. So, no. Chicago was fun, but I didn't really live there a long time. Then Vegas, I was there for 13 years. And there were a lot of things that were good. There were some things that were horrible. Uh, and there were things after the horrible event that were really good that helped me to get through a very difficult time. Hiking. And then I thought about the mess around really originated there in, in Vegas. And I thought, okay, how can I work that in there? But then the wordings just didn't seem right. I was, I was putting stuff on notepad on the phone. And I, I was playing with the letters. I'm like, ham a vegan? No, that's not going to work out. And then I also had to think, okay, if I put this word out, it can't be something that's already out there. I, I, and trust me, I, I, this came from when I was podcasting. I would try and come up with names for the podcast show, and I didn't want to use a, a phrase or a word that was associated with something else. So there, there's that. It's, it's just a mess. <laughs> We're supposed to be having fun, and all these things pop up. So I really like the ham concept. That to me is, it's not something that I have, and again, as much as I want to say I created this word, I've been using it in the music space, I don't want to be that arrogant of a person because it's probably been said, many have said, have a mess around. That's, that's nothing new. But this hammer thing that I use, it's really something that I enjoy. And, and I know that for many, and I'll admit, there is a component to it that it's rebellion, it's being lazy. It's not wanting to do that. I admit that. I take ownership. Trust me, I've had these conversations, and I've had comments, and, and, and these things happen, and I understand that. And it's usually coming from those who have been putting in the work or have been doing it for a long time. And when, when you see somebody like myself come in that doesn't want to learn music theory, yet I get frustrated every time I go about it, I can understand how there is some resistance to me coming in saying, just mess around, screw around, who cares? So I understand that. Yet that results in conversation. That results in ultimately a waste of time and no one making music when you think about it. So there's nothing constructive in that. So I just want to address that elephant in the room. If that's something that you feel I'm doing a disservice, I'm not going to engage with you. Just have to throw that out there sadly. So Hamma was something I wanted to do. And then I, my mind just starts wondering. Now at this point, I'm out walking the dog, and I'm still thinking about. And I had some some ideas, and I finally said, "Okay, let's just go with something that has to do maybe with the desert in Vegas and like the Mojave Desert." And then I wanted to maybe implement the the Vegas part in, but again, I wanted to be more because. The Red Rock Canyon was where I, I started hiking. And that was a big therapy moment for me. Still very important to me in my life. And I thought, okay, I wanted to have the IAN part again. I, it's, you know, keeping with that theme, the sarcasm, kind of, you know, being a, um, a rebel. Some may say being arrogant. That's cool. So I came up with Mohamvian. Or how, see, I got to look at it right now. Mohammedan. See, that's the fact that I can't even get it right because I wanted to combine Mojave. That's where my brain's going. I'm just letting you know. And I think that's all we go through these little things. Like, hey, wait a minute. That's that's kind of weird. And I looked it up. And it's not a word. But I thought, okay, let's just stick with Ham. And then I thought, okay, the IAN. Then I thought Mandalorian. Big fan of that show. And I love the catchphrase, this is the way. So I thought, there you go. Hamalorian. Period. And then I can say, this is the way. Now, where's the origin? Because when I look at those other modes, there's an origin. They, they, they come from someplace. And I thought, let's go super, super philosophical on you here. Instead of saying an origin, because I could easily say, hey, you know, this originated in the Vegas area. And, and that may sound cool. But how can I do it? Because someone, because here's the thing that goes through my mind. When you say that, someone's going to, you know, we, we do it all the time. You hear a certain city, you hear a certain brand, and someone automatically has a memory. Sometimes it's bad. I'm like, okay, let's just avoid that. For whatever reasons, we can't just take what's being said. We, we, we have something associated, and we've got to, you know, divert the attention away. And this is something that when you, when you, I think when you make it personal, when you have it relate to everyone, 
then it's kind of like, ah, okay, I see what you did there. So to me, the origin of Hamalorian is within you. I'll let you think about that for a minute and see if you can kind of see where I'm going. And some are like, what are you talking about? I, I don't have this Hamalorian. And what do you mean? that we're in my, Where at? It's like right inside here. It's right inside you. And what that is, is at one point in your life, if you're listening to this right now, you were a kid. Now, I don't know how old you are. Maybe you're in your teens. Maybe you're in your 80s. But at one point, you were a kid. And I'm going to ask you, because you probably have been caught up in whatever you're doing, When's the last time you thought about being a kid? And regardless of the childhood, I, I know, because again, when I bring this up, there may be some that could be a triggering moment. Maybe it was a bad childhood. I, I, I acknowledge that. I could even talk about some things in my childhood that were not pleasant, yet there were also things that were cool. And a lot of it had to do playing with toys. And the mindset was not the mindset that we have as adults. The mindset was mess around. I wasn't saying that word. I wasn't using it, but that's what I was doing. I wasn't concerned about the brand. I didn't care that was called, that Lego made it. I didn't care who the manufacturer was. It was fun. So, you know, I was in the trains. I could even tell you who the manufacturer was. I could just remember building a train set. That experience. That is what the Hamalorian is. It's being a kid. It's having the experience. It's having fun. It's not concerned about who makes the gear. And that is the sad part about YouTube. Is the visualization? I, I I know that may be a bit hard to understand, but when you think about it, we go right to the brand name. Then you have those who are the influencers who are hitting you left and right on embargo day drops, and many times we're focused on what something looks like. Our focus gets distracted. Some of us listen to the, the sound. Some of us watch the video footage or whatever it is and, and, and don't pixel peep. There are those of us who do that, but for the most part, and, and you don't believe me, look at the comment section. Go to a forum, and you'll see what I'm saying. People are not having fun. People are not being a kid again. And that's why I want to introduce and share with you the Hamalorian mode. And it's something that I'm going to be saying a lot moving forward. And I want to give you an opportunity to go ahead and just disengage from this channel, from this video, from subscribing if you have, because I'm going to embrace it hardcore. I'm going to do what those influencers do who put their content in your face and are trying to get you to buy things. I am going to be that person that's like, look, be a kid again. Have fun. Because guess what? It doesn't cost you anything. You don't need to click on an affiliate link. You don't need a discount code for the Hamalorian. It's in you. You have it. And it's my job and others to tap into that, to knock on your head and say, hey, wake up. Adulting has ruined you. Social media has ruined you. We have been programmed to go by rules. And, and while they are important, do not get me wrong. I think about flying a drone. I don't just go willy-nilly flying it in a crowd. But I find a place where I can fly it, be safe, and guess what? I'm a kid again. And I'm not concerned about do I have the latest version of the DJI drone. It's good enough. So that is my mission moving forward. And I will be embracing it. And it will make it will the, the stuff I put out, for some, it may look horrible because you have been exposed to those who have been putting in the time and making you, as much as they're having fun, there are some who are putting out the message that this is what you need to do, and that's where they have crossed the line and have lost it. If you're putting it out and it's top-notch quality and you're just sharing it, that's amazing. That's awesome. 
but it's once you start saying, you've got to do this, you've got to have this lighting, you've got to have the latest and greatest, you've got to do this, and then they move on to the next thing. And I'm really speaking to those people who are the influencers, who are the people who are working with companies and brands, and yes, I'm taking a shot, and, I, and I'm probably making enemies. And, and people are not listening to the message of what I'm trying to say. A Hamilorian, this is the way. And I feel strong about that because I'm having fun. I'm getting out there. I'm doing something. I'm not in the comment section beating somebody up. Because I can't fix everybody. But I can inspire you. And I can remind you that having fun, is there anything wrong with having fun? You're, you're already doing your adulting. You're already handling your responsibilities. You're already dealing with stress. You're running late to work. You're dealing with deadlines. You've got a boss. You've got a coworker. The stress is insurmountable. And you need to hear voices like mine that remind you from time to time. It's about having fun because here is the harsh reality that, that very few talk about. And definitely no one who is pushing gear on you talk, talks about. You and I are all a phone call away. We are all a insert this thing away from it being over. Whether losing a very close loved one or ourselves checking out. And the question you have to ask yourself is, how do you want to spend your time? Do you want to spend it engaging, barking, beefing, with other human beings over trivial things? Or do you want to do it how you used to as a kid? Having fun, messing around, playing with things. Think about even if you are a parent and your kid draws something and you put it up on the fridge, you share it on social media. We all love that. We all embrace that. We don't tell that kid, ah, that sucks. You got to draw better. Why do we do that? to each other as adults. So share your work. Don't share your work. And when someone else is sharing their work, be kind. Put it up on the fridge. Give them a high five. Encourage it. This is Wabbit. This is the Hamilorian. And this is the way. <laughs>